fucking Bass Pro Shops Pyramid, bro. Is that the most contemporary America thing that exists? It's gotta be, right? Like, that's, that's us right now. <laughs> Hi there, my name is Kevin Dowling, and until about three months ago, I was a very successful location manager and location scout in the film industry. I don't know if you guys saw those articles about the uh, overlords starving their crew members until they started to lose their homes, their apartments, and everything they've worked for, but that's me. Um, so instead of sitting around crying about it, I decided to take the last little bit of money I have and uh, use it to go make a photo series about this country that I adore so much. Here we are. Lover's Leap. What'd you do today for our family? It's crazy. They like clear cut the trees, but this is it, dude. Tell me it. This is where the birds first saw lake of the ozarks and <laughs> when we uh originally scouted it, it was myself and my mentor wes hagan and uh we came up here and we had to photograph to show jason and when we rolled up there was a truck pulled up and you couldn't see in the bed um, <laughs> but as we got closer we saw the bed rocking and all of a sudden this girl popped up in her bra, this dude popped up, and it was these two teenagers that were fooling around in the back of the truck. And uh, I had to actually ask them to leave, to move their truck. I felt awful. Um, but they, they did, they moved their truck so I could photograph uh, this really fucking spectacular location. Um, yeah, and it was the closing scene for episode one of season one of Ozark. It's pretty fucking awesome. My boss, Wes Hagen, found it. I did not find it, Wes. I know you found it. <laughs> great find, man. God, it's crazy being back here. <laughs> one of the greatest experiences of my uh, film career, for sure. It was the first time I got to travel for work. And um, when I show you some of the other locations, I'll tell you some of the other crazy fun shit we had to do. racing to get to my camp spot uh, as the sun's going down here at Lake of the Ozarks and I just remembered a little detail. That was our helicopter unit. Um, so we had a, a helicopter operating and it was like this super serene calm moment. I just remember how intense it was. Like it's a really small space and we had our, you know, a, a small crew, like 50 people, but we had to like tuck everybody back into the woods and like back onto the road just to get that one shot and it was like right as the sun went down and it just ended up being money it was really uh just a cool moment to watch and i was like peeking behind a tree like and they nailed it man. Sage River, you know, destroyed the uh, Langmore's birthright. Amarin, that's the reason this lake's so fucking crazy, dude. It's a private lake. It's a power, they generate power right here, but it's like there's, I don't know, most, the lakes that we filmed on in Georgia, they're all Army Corps of Engineers, so there's like sh super restricted uh, guidelines to what you can and can't do on the lake, but here, like, you can clear cut straight to the water. 
and put up fucking mansions and like waterfalls that go straight into the lake and shit. It's so crazy, dude. Um, this is this is a very unique place, and you should visit it if you get a chance. This is the old Bagnell Dam Strip, and that's the Dog Patch Arcade that was featured in episode one of Close Arc. Um, we had no permits, no contracts. We literally ran up this block and I was running into each one of these businesses doing like a quick agreement with them uh, just throwing them some cash so we could like just barge in with the film crew um, everybody had a great time Jason's super cool so he's always like helpful uh, in the way that he like introduces himself and uh, you know he appreciates that people are letting us do our work um, yeah crazy man dog patch arcade glad it's still here this new bar this is fucking hilarious this is well it's awesome this is the kind of imprint that a film has on communities check this shit out right here that motherfucker's called marty birds learning very real city boy lessons right now dude campsite that i booked tonight isn't on it's on the fucking osage river and not a part of the river that moves but a swamp and then also in my fucking area that i was parking there was a giant fucking puddle so i'll post a clip of the amount of mosquitoes swarming my car right when i tried to set my shit up right now yeah so I'm bailing on fucking Lake of the Ozarks it's 9 o'clock I've been up and moving since fucking 5.45 um, there's also some sort of severe weather coming towards me um, I'm getting advisories and now I'm seeing the lightning Tripping, bro. Adventure time. Don't know where the fuck I'm gonna sleep tonight, but I'll figure it out, I guess. Maybe in the car, under a bridge or something, I don't know. Last night was brutal. I that lake of those was just fucked. So I jumped back on the road and I drove like an additional like two and a half hours. And I found this little fucking other campground. But the campground was closed, but there's a big park lot by the lake. I just jumped in here. I get to wake up to this shit. Damn, dude. First night. Uh, partial night in the uh, I Camper Mini 3, and it's fucking awesome. <laughs> it's so crazy. Just pull up on a spot, throw the tent up. Takes like two seconds. Jump in. Night, night, dude. <laughs> 